Southeastern Cellular is your BlackBerry headquarters. If you haven't seen this amazing device, just let me tell you a few things about it. It pushes email straight to your phone instead of having to retrieve it. It downloads music, TV programs, weather radar, and it has a GPS navigation. And so much more that I cannot tell you in this short time. So come by any of our newly remodeled offices for information and special discounts on BlackBerry devices when you mention that you heard this ad on Big Boy's Toys. Remember, Southeastern Cellular, an authorized retailer of AT&T. Hey everybody, it's Barry Miller from Big Boy's Toys. Welcome to this week's episode of Isla Capri Casino, Biloxi, Mississippi. Yes, I'm a little hoarse. You ain't seen nothing yet, you wait till Saturday. But see, I get a break tonight, so it'll be better in the morning. A lot of great cars. I mean, cruising the coast is great this year. If you wouldn't hear, you missed it. Step back and relax. We got cars from all over the United States, Texas, Louisiana, Colorado, New York, everywhere. Sit back and relax. You fix and see some nice ones. We'll be right back. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time once again for Big Boys Toys. Tonight, your host, Barry Miller, will bring you the sleekest, trimmest automobiles from around the area that have been beautifully restored. If you love streamlined, full-force race cams, then this show is for you. So sit back, but don't get too relaxed. This is Big Boys Toys. We're in the beautiful showroom of Billy Beatty Auto Super Center right here in Oxford, Alabama. Billy, welcome back to Big Boys Toys. One of the, he was the first car dealer on Big Boys Toys and he is back. Thank you, Barry. We're glad to be a sponsor of Big Boys Toys. We want to invite all of our customers, previous customers. Barry, we got almost 200 cars on this lot. I've been in car business here all my life in Calhoun County and we want to invite in all of our customers, any new customers. We love to trade here, Barry. Even you, you've bought four cars from us in the last two years. I've bought a lot of cars here. And hey, you old guys, when you come down here, he's a car enthusiast too. You've got vets sitting around here, Camaras. He can show you anything you want to see, but his specialty is these late model cars that's just gorgeous. Next vehicle, 1946 Ford Coupe. Brenda Seals, Brenda, welcome to Big Boys Toys. Tell me about your car. That's right, it's my car. Uh, it's a 1946 Ford Coupe. Uh, it has a 305 uh, engine, has uh, disc brakes, has power windows, power seats, power steering, cruise control, and a Sirius radio. Sirius radio. As long as you got that Sirius radio, that's what counts when you're cruising around. Exactly. How long have y'all had the car? Well, my husband owned one years ago and uh, when he was a young man, and he's always wanted to have a 46, so... Uh, so he just wanted a nut and something to... Well, actually, it's my car. He has a 66 vet, and so this is my car. So you wanted to know. That's right. Now, y'all drive, you drive this thing everywhere, don't you? Everywhere. You drive it down here or haul it? We drove it. We drive it. We don't haul it It's anywhere. a whole lot more fun getting on that interstate riding with this than anything. That's else. right. Because they just love to let people people see it when you come by they say yeah. look at that look at that yeah we've had a lot of fun in that car i'll tell you something funny about it when we bought it uh my husband wanted to put bucket seats in there and uh, i said no way we got to have those original seats because they're so comfortable and you just like riding your sofa down the road yeah. you know so he said well i tell you what he said we're going to recover these seats and he, we're going to do them ourselves while the cars are being painted so uh, he said we're going to do it in your living room and I said, in my living room? He said, yeah. So we got sheets, put them on the floor, and we did the whole interior in my living room. So while the car was getting fixed, y'all was fixing That's right. Did he do some of the work make you do most of it? No, he did a lot of it, but I helped. I'm a good hander. Oh, hander, yeah. I bet you helped <laughs> put it on there, too. I, I help. I can hand good. Now, what kind of motor knobs it? It's got a 305 Chevrolet. Mm -hmm. 
Chevrolet motor. Automatic. Mm -hmm. Did y'all, when y'all got it, was it pretty well finished and you just had to do a lot of the cosmetic stuff or did y'all have to really rebuild it? Well, actually we completely, we, we had the outside completely redone. It was in the shop for two years and we completely redid the inside. The motor and everything was in pretty good shape, even though we've got a new motor now because uh, this one gets better gas mileage and it runs better. Right. And we've got a new rear end in it because we were getting on uh, the interstate in Louisville, Kentucky, and I said to Calvin, I said, hit it. He said, I did, and we were still sitting there. So <laughs> we had to get us hit another. Uh, I've already hit it. Yeah, on it. so we got a, a new rear end in it. And it, 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 when I say hit it now, it'll, it'll go. Say so hit it now, he'll tap it a little bit. <laughs> yeah. Anything else y'all want to do with the car? No, not really. It's pretty much all we're going to do to it, and, uh, you know, we're just driving it and having fun. Y'all stand down there all week? We are. We came Monday, and we'll, we'll stay here till probably Monday of next week. It's going to be great. A lot of people, a lot of cars, you know. A lot of the cars come in yesterday. Uh -huh. So it's a lot of people here and a lot of cars here. I think it's going to be a good, another good show this year. I agree. Tell you what, it's a good-looking vehicle. Appreciate you being on the show. Thank you. We'll be right back. Piedmont Outdoors, Main Street, Piedmont, Alabama is the place to go for the most name brand products in one location. They carry steel, snapper, Mahindra tractors, John Deere equipment, clothing, and even toys. But most of all, they're the Can-Am and Articat all-terrain vehicle dealer for this area. They also have all the accessories and equipment you need for your ATV, for hunting, or if you just want to be sport riding, they've got it all. It's worth the drive to Piedmont, Alabama from anywhere for their selection and savings. Go by today or call them at 256-447-7211. Tell them Barry Miller told you to call. The Courthouse Cafe, downtown Aniston, right beside the courthouse under new ownership and management. Angie Mabry and her staff have breakfast specials each and every day. Lunch specials, there's something different each and every day. Orders to go, she said, not a problem. You can get orders to go anytime she's there. She was voted the best ribs in Calhoun County for 07, and she said, butts, ribs, and chicken, she's the best in Calhoun County. Give them a call today at 741 1691 or stop by the Courthouse Cafe telling Barry Miller sent you. You never know. You might catch me at a eating lunch one day. We'll see you there. You know, Piggly Wiggly, that's a name you've heard ever since you was a child. I've heard it since I was a child. It's a grocery store above all grocery stores. It has just about anything you want in the Piggly Wiggly stores. Go by the local Piggly Wiggly store in Odenville, Center, Cedar Bluff, Collinsville, and the brand new store down in Asheville and tell them Barry Miller from Big Boy Stories sent you by and you want to see how much money you can save on your grocery bill. They have a meat department and a fresh produce department in each and every store, fresh produce each and every day and they cut their meat right there on their location. Tell them I sent you by. Next vehicle, John Coolidge, a 1968 Chevy C10 pickup. John, welcome to Big. That's a big old boy you're messing with. Tell me about your truck, John. Well, it's a, like you said, it's a 68 Chevy pickup. Uh, I've had it for about eight years. Did a frame off restoration and uh, put a small block 350 in it, running about 400 horsepower. Pickup trucks, you know, uh, in the 60s, 65 through 70, a lot of people are not fixing them up. Wonder why? I mean, they're daily drivers. Yeah, people drive them up. Now, I've interviewed some guys that had them since 68 or 67. Drove it every day to work for 20 years, parked it for 15, and then fixed it. What made you pick the truck? Well, basically, uh, I had a friend uh, who had one, and, and, and he wasn't going to do anything with it. So uh, I bought it, thought it'd be a neat thing to do. Now, did you do most of the woodwork and everything on it? Or? Well, I have a friend that did the woodwork, but uh, I did all the frame-off restoration, did all the body work. Paint. You run a body shop? No, sir. You don't work body work for a living? Never done it before until I touched this truck. You do real good work. Thank you. You did all the paint yourself? Mm -hmm. Just trial and error? Yep. What do y'all think? He done a pretty good job on that, didn't he? Sure did. You right here in Gulfport, Mississippi? Yes, sir. Uh, did the truck, how long you had it? About eight years. It took three years to build it. When Katrina come, which way did you go? Right in my house. I stayed home. Stayed home with the truck? Mm -hmm. How far back are you? 
my house is about 20 miles off the beach, oh, okay. so it wasn't, it wasn't too bad. Didn't get any water or anything like that, so I was one of the lucky ones. You're from this area. What do y'all think about cruising the coast? We love it. Love I mean, it. It's it's biggest blast around. I mean, I talk to a lot of people from out of town about what they think about it. Mm -hmm. I like to talk to local people and say, since Katrina, it's building back up. It went down, but it's building back up. And the car people, I tell them all the time, support cruising the coast because these people are trying to build back up. It, it's it's a good idea to have cruising the coast and continue having cruising the coast, like you said, because it brings people back. And as they can see all the construction going on, you know, a couple more years, we'll have some more hotels and some houses coming back and all that kind of stuff. It's just going to take us some time, but as long as we have things like cruising the coast in here, it, it's just a... Uh, it helps yeah. bring some more business in. Yes, sir. Now, you're 20 miles out. Do you get any damage or just wind low wind uh, damage? Got wind damage and, and whatnot. Lost uh, some of the roof and what have you and blew the door off my shop where the truck was sitting, but... Uh, it didn't hurt the didn't truck. didn't hurt the truck. Because I talked to a guy this morning at a T-Bird. He lost two in Katrina, and then he bought one, but he can't find where the insurance company sent him to. They're Long gone. California somewhere, and he'd like to find them, but he can't. The pe a lot of people down here lost their cars. Yes, they sir. couldn't... Was it they couldn't get them out quick enough, or well, they didn't think it was going to be that bad? All the hurricanes that we've had, most hurricanes will die overnight, but this one basically got stronger overnight. We woke up to a Category 5 hurricane and got in trouble because we didn't think it was going to happen. So you so couldn't... The ones that got damaged here couldn't get away quick enough. That is correct. And the truck made it through. You've got yes. a little wind damage and that's it. Yeah. Anything else you want to do to it? Well, I just got through putting air in it, so I'm real happy with that, so I can drive around in comfort now. Air conditioning in the truck. Mm -hmm. you got air conditioning in it. Mag wheels. If you had a gun rack with a 410, you'd be in business. Well, we can work on that. <laughs> Tell you what, good looking pickup. Appreciate you being on the show. Thank you. We'll be right back. This is Chuck Ward of Billy Isom GMAC Real Estate. Today's home sellers and buyers expect and deserve premier service. They also know that no other real estate company has more listings than Billy Isom GMAC. We have over 386 active listings in Calhoun County. That is one out of every three. No other company comes close. Delivering premier service to our clients is the reason that Billy Isom GMAC is the market leader in Calhoun County. For your premier service experience, call us or check Check us out on the web at BillyIsom.com. Farmers and Merchants Bank. Farmers and Merchants Bank's got four locations to serve you. Piedmont, Anniston, Oxford, and downtown Jacksonville. 90 years of service. I'll tell you what, Farmers and Merchants Bank is the bank. You know, it's not like any other bank around. You can go in and they get your decision today. They make the, your decision on a loan or whatever you need right in that location. You have a personal banker that takes care of you right here. Don't have to send it to Birmingham, Charlotte, or anywhere. Go by one of the Farmers and Merchants Bank today. Tom Barry Miller from Big Boys Toys sent you by. You know, when someone smiles at you during the day, it kind of makes you feel great all over. Dr. Travis Phillips and his friendly staff right here in Oxford, Alabama, says stop by their office and they'll help put that beautiful smile on your face. They have teeth whitening, general dentistry, cosmetic dentistry, dental hygienist, oil surgery, everything right here in Oxford, Alabama. He has full x-rays and partial x-rays that he does right in his office and you'll find out right then what he needs to do. They got professional staff. They have a saying, go the extra mile for the beautiful smile. Stop by and tell them Barry Miller from Big Boys Toys sent you by. Looking for a classic car? Don't know where to look? I got the answer for you. Austin Hines Motors in Arab, Alabama. Austin has 55, 56, 57 Chevrolets, Camaros, Chevelles, Novas, Corvettes. Any type of classic car you could want, he has it in one location. They have over 100 classic cars in stock. They also have cars that you can rebuild yourself and restore yourself right there at that location. He's also the largest wrecker and rollback dealer for this area. So call Austin today, 256-931-2277. Tell him I told you to call.
St. Clair County Farmers Co-op at the intersection at Harvick Road and Highway 78 in Pell City, Alabama. I tell you what, co-op's what it means. It's got anything you want. Science night food for your pets. They have tack. They have feed for all type of animals. Deer hunters, they got tree stands. They got clothing, camo. You name it, it's there. Cowboy hats, blue jeans, tools, hardware needs, anything you can think of, they've got right there at the Farmers Co-op. Call Matthew or one of his staff today at 205-338-2821. Tell him I told you to call. Crawford Office Supply right here in Anniston moved into the brand new location, 2,500 square foot building right there on Layton Avenue. Anything to deal with office supplies, Crawford has it right there in stock. Pens, papers, pencils, anything. Scratch and dent furniture, brand new office furniture, filing cabinets, you name it, it's right there. They have free delivery also for all the products. Hey, if you need something that they don't have in stock at Crawford Office Supply, guess what? They can order it. One or two days, they got it in stock. Go by today, tell them Barry Miller from Big Boys Toys sent you by. Al T. Hall Harley Davidson, right here in Oxford, Alabama, Davis Loop Road. They're your Harley Davidson dealer for this area. In my opinion, they're a Harley Davidson dealer all areas. Stop by and see Keith and George today. They have about 40 Harleys on display. Buy a new Harley. They have used Harleys. Clothes, you people like the Harley leather. They got any type of Harley clothing you want. Helmets, you name it, it's right there. All you guys with Harleys want to put that extra chrome on that brand new Harley. They got any type of chrome you could want. Stop by Mount Charles Harley Davidson today. Tell them Barry Miller from Big Boys Toys sent you by. Well, the next vehicle sitting right here is a 31 Ford. But we got Mr. Rich Westfall from the Isla Capri Casino here in Biloxi, Mississippi. Rich, welcome to Big Boys Toys. Thank you. Rich said he'd drive it if they wanted him to. He'd, he'd drive it around. And, and oh, yeah. I'd love to do that. Rich, I want to, first of all, before we get started, I want to thank you, Melanie, all the staff of Isla Capri for everything y'all have done for Big Boys Toys with the parking lot the rooms, the meals, and everything. I just want to give you a hand. <laughs> You've been great to thank us you. since we've been here. Oh, and thank you very much. The cars, we've had a lot of people come down. The car club from Biloxi, I've, I've had people from the Rice Pavilion say, we seen it in the book, he's at the Isle of Capri last night, this parking lot was people sitting on the grass, just, just having fun. Well, that's what it's all about, having fun, isn't it? And, and y'all have really took care of us this year. Well, Helping thank you. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. It goes, uh, a lot of the credit goes, or all the credit goes to our team members. You know, they, they, uh, they work with our guests day in and day out, one-on-one -on -one every day, and uh, they're the ones that truly make it happen. And then the staff that you work with, putting everything together, marketing staff with Melanie and, and Tracy and, and that, that whole crew have done a tremendous job in putting this together. Um, we're really happy to have you here. It means a lot to us, and, and you've done such a tremendous job promoting cruising the coast, which in turn promotes the coast, which helps us all uh, come back stronger, build the economy, and uh, have some fun. Yeah. Uh, you got a car club that's right here at home. Raise your hands. Raise and your hands. They're from a little bit everywhere, <laughs> and you people, it's not from Biloxi. This is the man that actually was on the initial committee that started cruising the coast and he came up with the name Cruising the Coast. <laughs> it was his name, Cruising the Coast. Yeah, that was kind of an interesting story. We uh, uh, had talked about doing something to bolster our shoulder season, our off season, which was the fall. And as our casino industry was coming on and more hotel rooms were being added, we needed to really spur something to happen in, in the fall. So we knew about hot August nights out in Reno and we had some people that were here that had actually worked on that project. And we sat around uh, uh, one day talking about what we could call it, you know, cool October evenings or, or uh, you know, some, some sort of uh, tie into Biloxi. And I thought, well, what do, you, what do you do in Biloxi? Well, you cruise Highway 90 and you're near the coast. So why don't we just call it cruising the coast? So uh, it worked and it, and it stuck and it's been a tremendous thing. I guess we had what a couple of hundred cars that first year uh, that we had it. 374. 374. She's the archives lady right yeah, there. She's the archives lady. And uh, so we started off with that and we thought, man, that's great. Let's go do it again. And, and we rolled and rolled and rolled and now we're up to probably five, six thousand. 5,000 cars, and it's, and it's due to, to guys like you and, and the commitment to, from the Biloxi Car Clubs and, and our, our local volunteers that take this thing and make it happen from all the way from Bay St. Louis to uh, 
Pascagoula. So uh, we never thought it would ever get that big. It goes up into Diabraville and, and we have tremendous events all week long. And, and uh, I, th I think it's just a, a great event. It's something that's very special. Talk about the Isle of Capri, invite everybody down. I've been telling them for the last three months, and I'm going to tell them for six more months. Absolutely. This is the place to stay if you're in Biloxi, Mississippi. Absolutely. We've got 700 wonderful hotel rooms, got a beautiful spa, we've got a uh, double level uh, pool deck, we've got uh, Faraday's Restaurant, we've got Trade Winds Marketplace, we have our own Starbucks, we've got a great buffet and uh, this new thing called the Lava Bar. So you really need to come in and give it a try. Plus we have 1,300 slot machines and, and 30 table games, uh, live poker room. So whatever you're interested in doing, whether it's entertainment, food, or, or some sort of uh, games of chance, so to speak, come on to the aisle. And to make reservations, you want to call 1-800-THE-ISLE. The Isle, that's what I always call it. 1-800-THE-ISLE. <laughs> And uh, give that a call and make a re reservation. Come on in and, and uh, uh, be a part of what's happening here. There's more here than the Alabama people just waving and having That's a right. good time. Tell you what, appreciate you coming up. Thank you. Remember, Barry. ladies and gentlemen, if you're ever this way, if I'm out of town, you know I'm going to be at the aisle. We'll see you in just a minute. You know, 90% of most homeowners don't know they have a pest or termite problem until they have a very expensive repair bill. Why not let the professional staff at Rice Pest Control inspect your home before it happens? With 50 years of experience in Northeast Alabama and with their free termite inspection for new customers, don't you think it's better to be safe than sorry? Call Tracy Rice today or one of his sales staff. Tell him Barry Miller told you to call. Hey, if you mention Big Boys Toys, you get 50% off your first initial service. So call them today at 1-800-850-4661. Triplet Paint and Decorating right here on Wilmer Avenue in Anniston is your home improvement headquarters for this area. They have DeVoe, Benjamin Moore, and Coronada paints that go on good and look great once they're on. They also have all the materials needed to do that special job around the house. Carpets, they carry Shaw and Mohawk. Hardwood floors by Robin, so everything is in one location. Remember, DeVoe, Benjamin Moore, and Coronada paints are used by professionals all over the United States, and it's one of the best on the market. Stop by today, tell them Barry Miller from Big Boys Toys told you to stop by. Hey everybody, let me tell you about a place you got to visit. Just opened up 518 Main Street, downtown Oxford, Alabama. Another's Treasures. They have antique, collectibles, and interior consignments. They also have some of the people from the Heritage Antique Mall in consignment in there now. Give them a call today at 832-9950. They have lamps, they've got tools, they got anything antique that you're looking for, guarantee you they'll have it in there. They open Monday through Saturday, 9 to 6 p.m., Sunday, 12 p.m. to 5 p.m. Stop by and tell them Barry Miller sent you by. If you want to go out for the evening or fine dining, you can find it right here in downtown Anniston at Classic Old Noble. The atmosphere is set for a quiet dinner for two or a party for 20. They have a lounging area upstairs so you can have a drink with a friend or a business associate. They also have a seating available upstairs in a nice quiet atmosphere. Classic Old Noble also caters for special events and parties for any amount of people from 2 to 20 to 200. Stop by Classic Old Noble today and tell them Barry Miller sent you by. Let me tell you about two family-owned businesses right here in Oxford, Alabama. Oxford Picture Framing, Snow Street, Oxford, Alabama. Allison Short says bring anything by that you need framed from American flags, keepsake pictures. She can do it. Also, Lee Kerr, Oxford Self Storage, Madison Road, Oxford, Alabama. He has storage buildings from 5 by 10 to 20 by 10. He also has climate control buildings, 12 security cameras at all time, high tech. Contact Ron Wilkins, the manager. Tell him Barry Miller from Big Boys Toys sent you by. Next vehicle, 1982 Chevy S10, Andy Dito. I'd have changed it to big old, but it's Dito. Dito. Hey, Andy. How you doing? Tell me about your truck. Oh, this little S10, um, she's got about like 95 horses under the hood, got a little four-cylinder in her. Um, she's really slicked out. I got some little 
fat tires on the back there. It's got a little 406 under the hood. You said a four cylinder, you didn't add them zeros. I forgot the zeros. Okay. It happens. I have this. As my wife says, the older I get, I forget things. You lie. Yeah, I know. She's a lucky woman. How long you been married? Mm, I forgot. A long time. <laughs> you live here in Biloxi? Yeah, I've got port. Does his wife live here? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she lives here. I was wondering, you said she's been, she's happy. She is. I figured you lived here and she lived in California somewhere. <laughs> All right. You got a four or six. Yep. Got a little um, narrow rear end, a nine inch forward roll cage. I got a little nitrous to her sometimes if I need it, if I don't. Got a 14 Detroit locker, a Hobson's racing front suspension in it, roll cage, fire extinguisher system. It's basically about everything you need in one. What's up for AC? You ain't got air? Uh, I don't want air. Which one of y'all was with him this morning? Did he go back home and study for the last four hours about what to say? I got it wrote right here. Big as your hand is, you can write a book. Mm -hmm. I ain't gonna say that. <laughs> Children is watching these shows, now be careful. <laughs> <laughs> this is the guy, the woman said, before we started, she said, Andy, be nice. I've been nice. Okay, how long did it take you to build the truck? Uh, about a, well, actually, when I tore it apart from the drag strip, it took about two years in the garage to put it back together. Did you just race it or what? Well, I used to race it, and then my wife told me no more drag racing, so I took it off of drag racing. I had D-Stroke 400 in it at that time. So we took the engine back out, took the engine builder, and built the 406 for it. Why'd you build a motor when she told you no more racing? Well, she says she I can race as long as she's sitting on the other side with me. It's true. I believe you. Now, did you do all the body work? No, a friend of mine, I ain't worth flip on bodies now. I picked out the color. I had the paint scheme in my head. A friend of mine, Mark Gills, he paints Harley I Davidson. I can believe that paint scheme would be in his head. It is. It's probably in it right now. Mm -hmm. Tick a toe. <laughs> so you just told him what you wanted, mm -hmm. draw it out. And we drawed it all out. He hand painted everything on it. No stencils, no nothing. He's amazing. So he just started drawing. He took tape and just bent the flames just like you see them on there. You hadn't punched it on 90 nowhere out here, have you? What's that? Have you got into it during Cruising the Coast? No, but normally, like this time, Mickey Thompson's, they put me on their favorite list because they know I'll need some tires after this weekend. After Cruising the Coast, yeah. you need tires. Yeah. What do you tell the cops? Um, Cop fan belt slip. Cops in, cops in Biloxi probably know he's crazy because mm -hmm. you live here. Yeah. So you just cruise the strip mm -hmm. tonight. Yep. How long have you been living here? Uh, <coughs> let me see. I'm 29 now. 29 years. I'm 29 years what? old. What? 29. Yeah. Man, your socks are 29 <laughs> years old. No, I've been here 51 years. But you were, I was asking, because I know Jerry and Johnny remember, you remember the year before Katrina, mm -hmm. the little S10 that was going down the road with yep. the helicopter motor in? Yep, yep. You know, it, made, it sounded like an airplane taking off. I bet you didn't jump on him, did you? No, he, we tried, but he kept hovering. I couldn't <laughs> quite catch him. I couldn't hover. I tried. That thing, we was up here at the La Chateau, yep. which is gone now. But you could hear him coming for three miles. Mm -hmm. Sound like a jet taking off. But he was making all that noise, but it wasn't going nowhere. Yep. I don't know. He blew some pretty big flames out of the back of it. Yeah, but it still ain't going nowhere. I believe he'd take it. I don't know. He hovers good, though. But I can try. What else you want to do with the truck? Um, nothing but drive it and have fun. I like his shirt. Mm-hmm. I'll get you one. I know this guy. He's, you know. All y'all's got them shirts on. Mm-hmm. Them guys with you? Yeah. No, not that one. Why would your wife go with you? Uh, she's going tomorrow with me. We, I got to leave go to Texas Friday and help my mother-in-law move over here, so she's packing up my truck. You gonna let one of these guys keep your truck here while you go? Uh, they can keep it, like but I keep my keys. Right yeah, she drive. can keep it. You let her keep it? Yeah. What you gonna tell your wife? It don't matter, keys going with me. Oh. <laughs> tell you what, good looking truck, appreciate you being on. Thank he you. was nice. I was. All right, cut the camera off. Cut the camera off, it's been a long time. We'll be right back.